Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Buzz Aldrin to be promoted to USAF Brigadier General, PS Engineering promos the new Hub 50 audio management system, Enstrom Helicopter Corporation President retires. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Buzz Aldrin to be promoted to USAF Brigadier General. Retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Buzz Aldrin, Apollo 11 Lunar Module pilot and the second man after Apollo 11 Mission Commander Neil Armstrong to walk on the moon, will receive an honorary appointment to the rank of Brigadier General during a ceremony on May 5th at Los Angeles Air Force Base. Following a U.S. Space Force press release announcing the promotion, Aldrin, age 93, tweeted, quote, Always honored to serve our country. I will bear true faith and allegiance, end quote. Aldrin went on to thank U.S. Congressional Representative Ken Calvert, Republican of California, the U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Department of Defense for the honor. The private ceremony will see U.S. Space Force Space Systems Command Commander Lieutenant General Michael A. Gentline award the promotion to Aldrin, the eldest of the four surviving Apollo moonwalkers. Currently, Aldrin holds the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Air Force Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit, two Distinguished Flying Crosses, three Air Medals, and numerous additional awards and decorations. On his 93rd birthday, Aldrin married Anka Fauer in a small ceremony in Los Angeles. Coming up after the break, DJI introduces Mavic 3 Pro Cinematic Drone. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. DJI introduces Mavic 3 Pro Cinematic Drone. DJI introduced its new Mavic 3 Pro flagship drone. The contraption features a triple camera system housing Mavic's renowned Hasselblad camera and two telecameras, a 43-minute maximum flight duration, DJI's signature omnidirectional obstacle sensing, and 15-kilometer HD video transmission. The Mavic 3 Pro's triple camera system features lens focal lengths of 24mm, 70mm, and 166mm, a complement of perspectives contemporaneously conducive to multi-scenario capabilities and the actualization of users' respective creative visions. U.S. Navy Carrier Logs 350,000 Traps Laid down in 1968 and launched in 1972, the USS Nimitz is the oldest active aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy's carrier fleet and, in point of fact, the world's oldest such vessel. On April 24, 2023, the Navy reported the storied ship, which takes its name from World War II U.S. Navy Pacific Fleet Commander Chester W. Nimitz and makes its home port at Washington State's Naval Station Everett, had logged its 350,000th aircraft trap, a milestone unique in the annals of naval history. Pentagon asserts no credible evidence of UFO activity. The director of the Pentagon's Aerial Phenomena Research Office summarily refuted the possibility that any unidentified aerial phenomena the office has investigated derive of extraterrestrial origin. 
Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, spoke before the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee and made clear to lawmakers that not one of the 650 plus incidents under investigation were of alien derivation, stating, quote, AARO has found no credible evidence thus far of extraterrestrial activity, off world technology, or objects that defy the known laws of physics, end quote. NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter completes 50th flight. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter is a small robotic rotorcraft currently operating on Mars. Ingenuity's maiden Martian flight, the first extraterrestrial flight undertaken by a human-made aircraft, took place on April 19, 2021. The historic occasion saw Ingenuity take off vertically, hover, and land over a flight duration of 39.1 seconds. On April 13, 2023, Ingenuity made its 50th flight, thereby marking 728 days of flight worthiness on barren and hospitable Mars, all the while without maintenance, an annual inspection, or even so much as a cleaning. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. PS Engineering promos the new Hub 50 audio management system. At AEA 2023, the folks at PS Engineering detailed their new Hub 50 audio management system, which takes formerly manually operated audio functions and brings them to the digital age. System configuration has moved away from the manual adjustment hierarchy and replaced them with an easy-to-use iOS application. The app allows for more than 250 different parameters to be configured, including switched and unswitched routing to each station, input and output impedance, audio levels, music distribution, lighting levels, dimmer thresholds, CVR levels and outputs, side tone levels, and the HRTF dimensional sound locations for all eight comm radios. The Hub 50 means independence. Your on-wing configurable Hub 50 will be liberated from computers and configuration modules, free from fiddling with pots, free from signal configuration and confinements. The Hub 50 will set you free. Here's how PS Engineering's revolutionary Hub 50 will free up your installation floor. We have a proprietary application that allows connection and on-wing configuration from the palm of your hand. Our exclusive app securely connects an iOS device to the hub, but only when the maintainer is in physical contact and activates the function from the hub itself. However, configurations can be created and stored ready to load when the aircraft is available and repeated fleet-wide if necessary. The iOS app can, uh, can configure an astonishing 250 items. For the Hub 50, we took all the features in the Hub 45A listened to the installers and operators and cre created this revolutionary system. The Hub 50 is fully backward compatible with Hub 45 installations. The Hub 50 has one important job, helping you do your job. Imagine being able to configure the audio system in advance. This will save hours of labor and downtime in consultation with your customers and can be easily reconfigured when the customer changes their mind. We provide commonly used settings as defaults, including typical special mission and business aircraft settings. The on-wing configuration steps the user through the configuration, such as this selection for the pilot position. The list is extensive, but not overwhelming, thanks to the architecture of our app. The core of our PAC 45 series has always been our multi-talker spatial audio, patented and licensed by the US Air Force. Loading pre-configured HRTF locations saves a ton of knob twiddling during installations. The Hub 50 offers new capabilities including built-in microphone adapters, more configurability, more flexibility built in from the app. The ability to rename the Bluetooth ID is useful for fleet operations and the Hub 50 can support more than two dozen intercom systems. And we expect to start shipping this this quarter. And after these messages, Enstrom Helicopter Corporation president retires.
Welcome back. Enstrom Helicopter Corporation President Retires Enstrom Helicopter Corporation, the American helicopter aerospace manufacturer based on Michigan's Menominee Marinette Twin County Airport, is making ready to say goodbye to its longtime and storied president, Mr. Matt Francoeur. For nearly 40 years, Francoeur has served Enstrom, helping guide the company through a tumultuous and uncertain era from which it has recently and triumphantly emerged. Matt Francoeur's association with Enstrom began in 1978 when he took a draftsman position in the helicopter maker's engineering department. Francoeur continued to work in that capacity for several years, contributing to numerous Enstrom designs, including the company's perennially popular 280 series. Following a five-year hiatus, Francoeur returned to Enstrom, helping to design the 480 series turbine helicopters that have become the company's mainstay. In February, Enstrom named company veteran Todd Tetzlaff its incoming president. Similar to his predecessor, Tetzlaff began his career at Enstrom, only to move on temporarily to another aerospace manufacturer. Looking to the future, Mr. Francoeur expressed confidence the company he helped build and save is in capable hands. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.